Hi, Nancy here, and today I want to show you how to do yarn over short rows in stockinette. And this is very similar to uh, Japanese short rows in their appearance. It isn't uh, one to be confused with yachts, which are yarn over short rows in garter stitch, and I also have a video on that. But it is a nice alternative to the many forms of short rows out there, and I'm going to show you how it's done. So, I have worked my way down to the last three stitches of my row, and I'm going to turn it. Okay? Now, typically we slip the stitch, move something around. You do not need to do that with this type of short row. Rather, I'm just going to take the next stitch here, and I'm just going to take my right needle and go underneath that working yarn. Okay? I'm going to take my right finger and hold on to it, and then I'm going to purl that next stitch. Okay, there we go. And there you can see it. It's a real tight yarn over. And now I'm going to work down to the last three stitches on the other end. As quickly as I can go here. As I said on my other video on short rolls, I don't think there's one particularly perfect short roll. I think it depends a lot on the pattern, and I also think it has a lot to do with the weight of the yarn you're working with. Uh, that seems to make a huge difference, in my opinion. Okay, so we're down to the last three, and we're going to turn, okay? Okay, I just want to make sure that my yarn's out of the way here. Okay, again, we don't have to slip any stitches, but we're going to take the right needle and go underneath the working yarn, just like so. Take your right finger and hold on to it, and now knit the next stitch. It doesn't feel like you're getting a yarn over, but you really are. There we go. And now I'm going to go down to six rows, six stitches before the end of the row. Okay. Pull this back. Yarn's a lot of static and the yarn starts bunching up. Okay, so where are we at here? Three. Don't count the yarn over. One, two, three, four, five, six. I got two more to work here. Okay, so now we're going to turn it. Now I'm going to make a, a feeble attempt at doing this English style. So I'm going to take the working yarn and go underneath with my right needle and I'm going to hold on to it and I'm going to go in and purl that next stitch. Now it doesn't appear like it's going to stay put, but it will. Okay, so I'm just going to go around and as soon as I pop it up and off the needle, there it is. You can see it, it stayed put. Now I'm going to completely change back to continental, and then we'll go down to the last end, which is going to be six stitches before the end of the row, and we'll do the last one in knit, which I'm happy to say I can do that in English a lot easier than I can do purl. Okay, so one, two, three, don't count the yarn over, four, five, six, turn. Okay, so take your right needle and just put the working yarn over the top and now knit the next stitch and voila, there's your yarn over just as you wanted it to be. And now we're going to take care of these gaps as we come to them. One nice thing with this method is you can see it. It's, it's very visible where it is. Okay, now we're at the gap. We need to close the gap. So all I'm going to do is take my my left needle, or excuse me, my right needle, and I'm going to knit into the stitch next to the yarn over and the yarn over itself to close the gap. Okay, now I'm going to go to the next one. And if you ever forget which stitches to work with, it's the ones you would need to use on either side of the gap. Now you're going to knit the two together, 
some reason I twisted that stitch. How about that? Okay, now I'm going to turn and we're going to work the pearls, which are a little different. Okay, so we're going to work our way down. further okay and we're almost to the one here yep just about okay so here we go we're at our first yarn over okay now this one's a little different than what you're accustomed to to close this gap I am going to do uh, a slip we're going to do a slip slip purl through the back loop slip is to knit slip is to knit put the left needle put the stitches back on the left needle now do this awkward reach around with the right go through the back and then you're going to purl the two together as if they were one purl purl okay there's the gap Slip as to knit, slip as to knit, put the left needle in the front of the two slip stitches and replace them on the left needle. Take your right needle, go through the back loop of the stitches, purl the two together as if they were one, purl, purl. Now the only thing I want to show you here there's one, in my opinion, one little drawback, but this is the same thing that would happen on Japanese short rows. You do get a little bit of, uh, of yarn that bunches up just like you do when you do the Japanese short row. It's not a big deal. Um, it's going to mesh into the rest of your knitting. You can fiddle with it if it bothers you a lot, but it doesn't bother me at all. And on the right side, you can see how nice it looks. It really, I think, does a, a very nice job. So yet, it's another uh, short row in your arsenal of short rows. And I want to thank you.